Now you how to make some roofs. Now there's more than one way to make a roof and maybe I'm not even showing it uh, the best possible way. I just know that this works well for me most of the time. Um, so I've got a couple different shapes of um, houses or cabins over here. And what I'm going to start off with is the pencil tool. And I'm going to find like a, the back midpoint on that back edge. And I'm going to come up and make sure that it's on the blue axis, which means that I'm going straight up. Um, so I'm going to decide kind of on the height of my roof and do my first line. And then do a point from there to there, making a triangle. And from here to here to make a triangle. Or the other option is um, do a line coming out here and go a little further. And then make our triangle and come out that same distance over here. go across. You can be more exact about that. Uh, once I have the triangle that I want, um, and this will allow for an overhang over the side, I'm going to go back to my eraser and uh, get rid of that upper point, switch to push pull, and pull across maybe to this upper edge or to this to the front or give it an overhang. Right, This example is with a porch, so it's got a porch underneath. Okay, and you'll notice there's an overhang on each side. If you want an overhang around the back, you can go around the back and pu push pull it out a little bit. So that's one way you could do it. Uh, another way is to uh, cover this up first and come on and find the center point. So I might crisscross here just to get this center point and then again come up the blue axis from the middle make sure that it's blue and then go over to that back corner and then this back corner and then this back corner and then this back corner and that gives you a different type of roof um, you could also do that towards the front here like if you put in two posts here you could connect over um, the best way to do that might be to use the rectangle tool and go from this diagonal to that diagonal and then from here to here and then that gives you good reference points to go over that way and then go across like that. might need to reopen your porch. You could reopen this side too and that side. So those are just a few ways to do this type. Um, now I'm going to move over here to this L-shaped one. Okay, I know in a lot of the videos that SketchUp put out, it doesn't have a thick wall going on, so that method of going across and going across here and then lifting it up doesn't always work as well. So I'm going to start off with the pencil tool at my midpoint and go up the blue axis again, and then head over to the side and then erasing that connecting point. And I can push pull this going back across to this back edge. Let's make sure it's the back edge. There we go. And then you could do something similar with this side. So switch to the line tool, come up the midpoint going up the blue axis. Now you want it to be the same height as this, so I might go hover over All right, there we go. And then go over to those corners to get your triangle. I might erase that line now and then push pull this into there and then grab it on this side and match it to that side right there. All right.
you might need to refill this side if it came undone just draw another line here and it should fill back in for you same goes over here okay um, there's different ways we can do this back one also uh, I might start off kind of depends on what kind of look you want you go up the blue axis go to the corners erase the line pull it to here and then ah, find this midpoint maybe go up just a little bit and then to those corners erase the connector and push pull that down to here that's one option there's different ways you can do it and you don't have to do it like this video shows um, if this is a design that we're doing where we want to be able to see the floor plan inside then you can leave this structure here um, but use the one of the see-through materials like glass and make it look like your roof is glass um, or you could right click and erase those faces away so that we can like see what shape the roof was going to be but we can also look to the inside and see your floor plan